Hey there, I'm Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a love reading for the sign of Aries. We're going to see how your person currently is feeling about you, what potentially you need to know about um, your person, as well as any challenges that may come about. And also, we're going to find out what the intentions are um, of your person and any outcomes and advice from spirit. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you feel compelled to do so. I am on TikTok every single day posting multiple messages throughout the day. So feel free if you are on TikTok to come by and follow my page, Sage the Intuitive. And um, like I said, I post messages every single day on there. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Aries in regards to love? So Aries, your overall energy is the canary spirit. It says sing your own song. So I feel like many of you are folks that kind of go by, you know, your own beat in life. You do things potentially maybe a little different than people that you know, um, but you march, in, march to your own beat. And so let's see what that means when it comes to love for you guys. So for Aries, how does Aries person currently feel about them? How does Aries person currently feel about them? So Aries, I feel like your person is feeling... Um, a, a little burdened, um, if you will. I, I, I feel like they're struggling internally, um, mentally, and in their head when it comes to love and relationships. Because I received the Four of Wands card, which is usually my 1111 card. This is soulmate love and such. But it did come out in the reverse, and I feel like it's meant for it to be that way. Um, in addition, we received the Nine of Swords card. So someone really is in their head about a situation um, between you and them. Also with the Princess of Swords, maybe someone is watching. Um, maybe someone is watching you on social media. Maybe some people are watching tarot readings. They try to get information. But I feel that um, your person is going through some inner conflict when it comes to um, you and them. So whatever is going on in this relationship, they are trying to figure out what to do. They're trying to figure out um, how to move forward, what to do next. And it's really causing them a lot of stress. It's causing them to be depressed because they really don't know what it is they need to do when it comes to the foundation of this particular situation. So what do we need to know about your person? What do we need to know about your person? Again, definitely need, needing to know that your person is um, definitely in their head, but I feel like there's some type of competition here. This competition could be with um someone who is an aries leo or sagittarius with this queen of wands energy and um i also got the princess of wands as well so i feel like if you didn't know um like this card here this five of swords is about competition i feel like there may be a competition from someone who is in this like um this like kind of a fiery energy. The person doesn't have to be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, but I think it's somebody that is very immature. Or it could be someone that is younger than you or younger than um, your person. But I feel like this is an immature um, 
energy so i feel like there could be a little bit of competition when it comes to love and relationships with someone that is um younger or just someone that is very immature what is the biggest challenge between the aries and their person biggest challenge between aries and their person what is the biggest challenge between aries and their person in a person biggest challenge I think the biggest challenge is someone here wants a victory um, with you they want some type of healing they want some type of success when it comes to you and they're trying to hold faith um, about that um, about that success someone here is also very stubborn and that is, could cause a challenge as well and there was some type of ending here with a soulmate energy so th this is the healing that someone is really wanting from you they want this happiness um but this is causing a there's a challenge with this because this person could be stubborn you could be stubborn um as well that is your card area so um it, it could be that but there was some type of ending here or some type of transformation that needed to be had. So maybe this person is going through some type of transformation. Or this could have been an ending in the recent past. And um, this is with someone who is a soulmate um, to, to you. But in any case, um, someone here is being very stubborn when it comes to love and relationships. And there is a want and need for... I would say like a happy ending someone is trying to hold faith and have hope um in regards to how this relationship could potentially go um i think part of it is because maybe you've known this person for a um a good period of time so that could definitely be it as well um maybe you knew this person from childhood there's some things that that are going on in your relationship or had went on that you know, like it gives you that nostalgia feeling. You keep thinking about things that have happened in the past. Or again, this could be a soulmate. But what's happening is there was some type of ending here because of some type of um, stubborn situation. And someone was he someone here is being very stubborn. So this is like the biggest challenge. Um, one of the biggest challenges, other than the fact that we think that there could be some type of third party energy interfering um, with this connection. So let's see, what does your person want from you, Aries? So what does Aries person want from them? So your person is still desiring um, growth with you. They feel like they still want to plant seeds with you. They still want to kind of work and, and invest in a situation. Yeah, I have two cards of that. So your person definitely wants to put in some type of work and they want to work hard towards towards um, a love situation with you because they're trying to um, figure out how they can um, keep planting seeds. But it seems like there there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done when it comes to this situation because they do um, want this two of cups um, relationship with you they want some type of union with you Aries um, they want to offer you some type of stability it's very slow um, but they do want to offer it but then there's some decisions that have to be made that have not been made yet and um, at the end of the day that's the only way that things are going to move forward once it once a decision is made once a because this person is at some type of crossroads roads where they have to figure out which direction they want to go in once a decision is made then you'll most likely have some really fast energy some communication from that person and such but again it's just a matter of this decision even being made but this person still has faith and they still want to work and they still want to plant seeds in this relationship that you and um, your person share. What are your person's intentions, Aries? What is the Aries person's intention? 
We know what they want, but what they want. But what are the intentions? What are the intentions? So your person is really doing some type of reflecting. Um, they are kind of taking a step back when it comes to to love and relationships. They're going into some type of solitude. They're trying to get some type of inner guidance. Maybe they are meditating. Maybe they are praying. Maybe they're like seeking advice from their angels, their ancestors or something. But your person is really trying to um, take this opportunity of solitude to figure out what they want to do because they want to offer you some type of new beginning at the end of the day but it's going to take it take that them them taking the solitude and this time to figure out what it is that they need to do because again they want to offer something this is not a big offer because maybe they're not in a position to offer you something big but they want to that they are desiring to send give you something um solid but again you know this is more so a desire and an ambition and it's it's a really small offer but that small offer could turn into something big maybe they're trying to test the waters where they want to give you a bigger offer like this ace of pentacles which is something solid some type of commitment that um will grow they want to give you that type of offer but maybe all they have right now is to offer you something smaller um they're trying to go within again this is another card of them going and then following their intuition when it comes to how to approach this situation as well and then for you aries like fortune is on your side so whatever it is that you want you will get um at the end of the day the, the will is turning um in your love life and your situations here the will is turning. I think for some of you guys, this is going to be an unexpected, unexpected thing to happen when it comes to your um, situation because you it's just been so much um, going on and there's been so much imbalance. So this card actually came out in the reverse of the Six of Pentacles is about bringing balance, but it's been so much imbalance when it comes to this. So that's why it would be a surprise to you to know that this person is wanting to give you a bigger offer although it may not be happening right now but it's it's just really a um it would be really a big surprise for that to happen because there was so much imbalance in the past so what is the potential outcome for this relationship for aries what is the potential outcome for aries and their person Your outcome for Aries in their person. One moment. Aries in their person. Potential outcome, please. Aries, you're going to get justice in this situation. So whatever it is that you want, um, any type of injustices that happen um, in this situation, everything is going to balance itself out. Um, you are going to get your justice. You're also going to get um, that your person is going to make some type of decision eventually um, in regards to, to this situation. But justice is on your side. So the fairness that needs to come towards you is going to happen for you. There will be some clarity that will be had. I think it was, this was such a difficult situation. Um, trying to decide what's going to happen next. What to do next. What to do next. And someone had to walk away when it came to this, this situation. But knowing that this is going to balance itself out. Because again justice is on your side and it's just going to take a little bit more patience um, if this is something that you want now if you don't want this that's completely fine as well but if this is something that you desire just know that at the end of the day justice is going to be on your side Aries so whatever it is the will is turning in your favor any love advice please for Aries
love advice for this situation for Aries. Wow. So I feel like this goes with your overall energy to sing your own song, to do your own thing, because it's telling you to be free. Have um, You're going to get victory and success in whatever it is that you do and you decide to do whatever it is that you want. You're going to get your Ten of Pentacles. So just have faith that this is something that um, is coming towards you. But it's going to come in a way that you may not expect it to come for you. So continue to sing your own song, to do things the way that you want to do them because some cycles are completing out right now and there could be the end of some karmic cycles. So the world is in your hands at the end of the day. There is some complete um, completion here. There are some accomplishments here. So just continue to do your own thing. Uh, let me get one last message for Aries. One message for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. One last message for Aries. What you want in life is in the near future. So that's the final advice that I have for you, Aries. I hope that this reading brought you some type of clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it has done so. And absolutely leave me a comment. I love reading you guys' comments. And um, again, I'm on TikTok every single day. So if you want to um, get a message every single day, you can follow me on TikTok, Sage the Intuitive. You guys stay safe and I will speak to you soon.